I'm here with Jeanette Routley, the Worship and Creative Arts Pastor at uh, Waterloo Pentecostal Assembly. And you've been at Waterloo for about 18 years, mm -hmm. That's right. uh, but you've been on staff for 12. Yep. In 2007, a couple of years after you started on staff, you had a major life uh, change, if you will. Tell us a little bit about that. I was in Australia and realized I was having trouble reading a book on the beach. I couldn't lay on my stomach, which is one of my favorite things to do, and just read. <laughs> and when I got back, my mom had encouraged me to go to the doctor, and uh, I found out I had ovarian cancer. Wow. And uh, it was not a fun experience no. to go through, but it started this journey that I never thought I would hear or think it would be part of my life. Um, and that would be going through chemo and had to have surgery to get this tumor removed. It was huge. My doctor actually thought I was pregnant. She came in. She's like, I wow. think you're pregnant. I'm like, nope, it's not what it is. I'm on staff, <laughs> single, yeah, on a church. That's not what it is. That's not, that's it not is. the story we're it's going with. not the with. story. And so I just began this journey of um, facing treatments and just dealing with everything that comes with being told you have cancer. Did, did you ever think, here I am doing what I believe God wants me to do, and, and all of a sudden I'm getting struck with cancer. What, what's that about? <laughs> did you ever feel sorry for yourself or question what, what's going on? I did. And as a worship leader, you're always telling people, you know, we look to the Lord and we, we look to him for strength. And I had to put my faith to the test in that because here I am and I don't understand why I have to go through that. I've given my life to him, yet I'm facing this. And I, you do question, like, Lord, why? I've, I'm honoring you with my life. Why am I dealing with this? It's a but, bit of a crisis, right? A little bit. Yeah. But then you look around and you see other people of faith and they're going through mm -hmm. incredibly hard things and you see that they're able to face it and their hope is found in the Lord. And so you get to choose who you live for and what you believe in those moments. Awesome. Yeah. Now, you, you, you go through the medical process. Yep. You, you lost your hair. I did. That I would have been a strong look. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you did. I remember. Yep. You had some really great hats, by the way. I, I did. I to let you know. I agree. So you, 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 you're getting to 2008. You, you yep. go through the process of, okay, I've, I've gone through all the chemo. Yep. Doctors are saying, I think everything's going to be fine. I think, I think we've come through this. And you get rocked with some new news. Yeah, in the fall of 2008, after I thought I was, I was through cancer and like life's looking good, you know, my hair is growing back. And I was, I was faced with some really debilitating pain. I drive standard in my car and I was having trouble driving standard, just standing really hurt. And the doctor told me I had rheumatoid arthritis, wow. which is almost harder to hear than you have cancer because RA, you have it for your whole life. And that was what the doctor said to right. me. He's like, this is a lifetime diagnosis. You have this, but there's, you know, medicine out there for you to help with the pain, but it turned out I was allergic to everything. I, I got hives from one medication, another medication. We tried it a few times and every time we do it, I had an anaphylactic reaction where I couldn't breathe. So uh, that was really, really wow. frustrating. So you just finished cancer. You're feeling like, okay, we've come through this and now you get hit with this news. Right. How do you respond as, how do you lead worship? Yeah. out of this place. That, that's got to be a place where you had to dig deep and figure, do I really believe this stuff? That's exactly what you come down to is, do I believe what I've been singing all these years? It's so easy to sing when life is good. Mm -hmm. But it comes to a place where you realize that your experience is not where it ends. And I just have to believe that the Bible, that scripture, that what I've spent my life studying, that what I'm reading is truth. And despite what I'm facing, that God is still good. Now, we, we talked a little bit about this earlier. Yeah. It gets down to the place where you do have to trust, is God good? Yeah. You've dealt with cancer. You're dealing with rheumatoid. Did you come to that conclusion? Was that something you struggled with? Is he good? It was a struggle, honestly. You do wonder, again, why am I doing, what's happening? What have I done wrong? I actually had someone tell me that uh, the reason I was facing some of these things, the root of it, there's some book that's out there that says the root of this medical diagnosis is that I don't have a good relationship with my mom. Wow. And then if it's not my mom, then it's her relationship with 
um, her mom, but we have great relationships. So everybody's got a theory, right? Everybody has a theory. Yeah. And so you really start questioning some of these things. But at the end of the day, I determined I'm going to continue to believe that God is good and he is faithful and he's real. And I've seen how that has worked out in my life. Um, you wake up in the morning and still experience the pain. Right. I was experiencing major pain in my wrists and I'm a piano player. So that's really frustrating. Um, but just Believing that God is with me, even when I'm in that pain, he gives me the strength to face that day. And I experience that undeniable strength every mm. day. But there were definitely moments where I questioned and, and it's hard. It's not easy to go through. So you dealt with that for five years and we get to 2013 yep. and you're in a prayer meeting and something miraculous happens. Tell us about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't actually want to be there that night. <laughs> My wrists were really hurting and um, I was playing piano. Probably f five people I think showed up at that prayer meeting that night. We're a church of about 700 at the mm -hmm. time. So it was like, man, why am I here doing this and giving my time of this when I'm hurting? I just right. want to be home. And I, I mentioned to the guy running the prayer meeting that I, I was experiencing a lot of pain and that I, I kind of wanted to make an exit and he said, well, before you leave, I just really feel like God wants us to pray for you. Mind you, I, I'm a, I work in a church and it's, it's one where we've seen people being healed. So mm -hmm. a lot of people of faith come and want to pray. So I've experienced a lot of prayer and people praying for me and putting their hands on me in the spots that hurt the most. And, you know, nothing had happened. And that particular night, they sat me down on a chair and started to pray. And I had someone whose hand was on my neck. Uh, one person's hand was on this wrist. Another person had their hand on this wrist. They, and they just prayed. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting much to be different. I know that sounds terrible to say, but um, and it, God did a miracle. And my wrist got really, really hot. And to the point where the one man took his hand off and asked, if, do you feel that? I'm like, yes, I do. And then the other guy could feel the heat as well. When the heat left, all the pain left. And that was four years ago in March. March. And you're still pain free. I have never experienced any arthritic pain. And that was unbelievable because up to that point, sometimes the pain would be so much where it was hard to brush my hair or brush my teeth, just walk up a flight of stairs. And I couldn't wear heels anymore. You know, little things in life you take for granted right. until you experience pain in that area. Gone. I have, I can wear heels. On, on Sundays, I like to wear it to church. And <laughs> um, I can live life. I can go water skiing now. I'm still not great at getting up, but I can try. And that is important, though, for water skiing. It I, is I understand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go with tubing because it's easier. <laughs> but but yeah. now you have two stories. Mm -hmm. You've come through cancer. Yeah. And then, then all of a sudden rheumatoid arthritis, and now you can, you can say, I was healed. Yeah. And I know that sometimes, we don't have time to go into it, but we, we sometimes, you say, yeah, I sometimes feel like it's unfair. Yeah. Why did I get healed and others don't? That's a question for another day. Yeah. But we can celebrate the fact that you were miraculously touched by the power of God. Yeah. And I know you're going to sing about that in a few minutes. We're so excited that you were here. I, I, I love listening to you sing.